the reward and the sense of accomplishment of actually affecting another Yid is the most rewarding experience of your life. The mentor's mission, in my opinion, is, is so important because of the impact it has on the kids, but also on the impact that it's had on me and my family. It's clear to me that Or Sameach puts the light, puts the light in this world. If one person uh, creates a family, it, it, it creates a lot, a lot of families down the road. So we save one family, we're saving a lot of families. The Mentor's Mission is a, a weekend, a magical weekend. I first joined my first Mentor Mission uh, in the summer of 2010. I've been on two mentors missions before. I would go as many times as I can go because you always meet more new people and uh, the whole atmosphere of uh, being there is, is a great, great feeling. It's a bond that gets created over a five to seven day period. I have college students writing me emails and, and signing off love. Love Evan, love Zach. It, it, it's such a special feeling. I never danced so much in my entire life. It was so exhilarating. It was just a wonderful, wonderful experience. The Jews on campus aren't in the thousands or tens of thousands, it's several hundred thousand. The Mentor Mission allows them to see people in business, in professions, who can lead a life of Torah and still go out and earn a livelihood and go and be part of society. When I start to meet guys that are regular guys that are in a Torah, but are doctors or lawyers or businessmen, stockbrokers, it start to change their impression. They start to realize that, you know, maybe this is something that I can actually become a part of. I can live a normal lifestyle, family life, and still uh, have a business, and still run being successful. Students really bond with that because they see, here are the pluses that I've always been striving towards and are always rooted in me. These are my goals. My goal is to be a great, successful professional. But I also want to be happy. And when you see in the JLE that the mentors actually bring that to the table, that's something special. They're not crazy, they're not rabbis, they're normal people, and they live to our lifestyle. And that was really important to me. We actually delve into a sugya. We delve into the depths of the Talmud, and, and, and the Gemara sells itself. The way that Or Sameach just throws you into the learning blew me away. We pick a sugya, we actually go through it, um, and it's really an amazing experience, you know, looking at these kids who, who go to college and then having them learn Torah and learning it really in depth. They're very serious in trying to find their Jewish roots. They've been here either on birthright or with family trips, maybe once or twice, they realize that they have a connection to uh, Eretz Yisrael. They find the Gemara being so fascinating that it excites them so much they can see tremendous spiritual uh, things in a piece of Gemara. Through the learning of Torah and the more knowledge that these boys get, the better they're equipped to mainstream into the firm society. The staff have a double benefit. First of all, we see the students getting something which we couldn't give them, and it's a basis on which we can build. And second of all, we feel a partnership with the mentors. They become our partners in our vision, in our goals, so that we end up inspired by their inspiration and we have a long-term future partnership with them. On this past mentor's mission, out of approximately 65 students that came, I believe 17 enrolled at Or Sameach to learn full-time in yeshiva, which is an unbelievable number. There's one story I, I must relate. This is after my very first mission. I had what I thought was, I really connected with my guys, and okay, Joe Woolley is from Madison, University of Wisconsin. Okay, Joe, what are your plans next summer? Without hesitating, Peace Corps Africa. I said to myself, okay, Scharia, you tried, you came, you thought you did good, win some, lose some. End of story, I was at Joe Woolley's house in the last year. He learned for several years in Arsameh. You don't know. If you think you made an impact, and you'll know if you did, you did. I would say the most exciting moment we experience in our office is sharing in the mentor's mission with all the Balabatim throughout North America. It energizes Yeshiva and Eretz Yisrael, it energizes our North American office, and really adds something to the world of Kirov that never existed before. 
I grew up in a very firm family, from community in Flatbush. In high school, I dropped out of yeshiva. They expected a lot from you. They wanted you to be able to do what you weren't able to do. They wanted you to be who you weren't. In Asmeach, I felt that I was able to just build on my own, be who I am, and build from there up. We need to save children that live in, in our communities, in the, in the Jewish communities, that uh, have lost their way. They grew up in a Jewish uh, family, and they're looking to come back to our way. The great thing about Asmeach is that it can bring it together, the Baal Shuvas and the people that are from from birth, and everyone wants to grow, everyone wants to steig, and so we bring it all together and it allows everyone to grow off one another. I was born and raised in Lakewood, New Jersey. To see guys coming from a completely secular background and wanting so much to learn about Judaism and it was so interesting to them and it was so meaningful, it kind of makes you realize that you, you're privileged and you have something great. Yaakov Kamenetsky once said that uh, the Frum community has yet to realize how much we need the Bali Tshuva, because they bring in a sense of freshness and excitement and inspiration that unfortunately, because of habit and because of routine and because it comes more easily, we forget the excitement and the, and the beauty. I feel like Yiddishkeit is more enjoyable now because I found the meaning in everything instead of just being told this is what it is. Every person that we can save from our community is, is a big mitzvah, not only for this person, but also for future generations. You know, one of the big fears of the mentors is that they're not going to be successful, that the students won't relate to them. One of the big fears of the students is that this is going to be an odd kind of thing, hanging around with guys for the summer and going to visit graves and hearing rabbis with long beard just isn't that enticing. But suddenly, as each one kind of says, you know what, we'll, we'll make the move, things kind of change. I would like to recommend that whenever you go to Israel, give us a call at our Sameach. There are young, promising, bright students. Come into the base Medish at Ar Sameach, sit down with the student, learn with him where he's holding, the sugi he's in. I guarantee you, you will totally enhance your Eretz Yisrael experience. It gives you a little bit more chizik for yourself to, to feel good about meeting these people and helping them also in a way to, to find what they're looking for. This past mission, we were ATVing in Moshe Avdi Shon, and I was on the same ATV as Dr. Michael Bernstein. And as we're driving down the mountain on the rocky terrain, all of a sudden from behind me, I hear Dr. Bernstein asking me, Shaila, how I learned the sugi of Zen and of in the morning. The inspiration that the Balabatim receive is something that's it's hard to describe. I mean, I'm in the risk business, right? So you like to make uh, asymmetric bets. High upside, low, up, low downside. What's the downside? A weekend? Huge upside in terms of really changing a person's life and changing their own life. Many mentors have said they have been more inspired by the students than perhaps they have even inspired the students. And of course, I think that's true really for all of us teaching our great, uh, wonderful uh, students. The mentors that go on this mission, it, they live it. It becomes their life. It's something that really changes so many people in such a big way. I definitely saw a new aspect of my father because uh, it was not something I'd ever seen before. And dancing and singing on Shabbos was definitely new for me. I remember the first email I sent after the Shabbos was to my sister. I said, you have to spread the word that there's a whole new part of him that we've never seen before. I have no idea where I would be today if I hadn't gone on JLE, I hadn't met George and hadn't, hadn't gone on the Mentors mission. I would not be in Yeshiva right now. I would have a very different life and I'm extremely grateful that I've had the opportunities that I have. I'd like to thank everyone for coming. I'd like to thank everyone for participating uh, financially. It is a wonderful cause. Uh, of course, I'd like to congratulate uh, my fellow honorees. I'm the last person in the world to go to a dinner, but I gotta tell you, I really, really appreciate everybody turning out tonight. Thank you. I wanna thank everybody for coming, my family, my friends, and supporters. And I appreciate very much for taking your time out and supporting such a great cause like Or Sameach that helps uh, people to get back to their roots. He was extremely excited on the trip. He was moved. He felt accomplished. And actually, when he came back, the Mentors Mishnah sent him a photo of him learning for the students. And he has a couple of uh, silver crowns that he might have gotten from some other Moises. And he has a picture of him learning with 
the student. If my shver ever appreciated anything, it's how genuine this yeshiva is. We're selling you the Torah, the Torah, and the Torah. You'll see that it's beautiful. We show you that it's beautiful. I am collectively thanking everyone for becoming part of our Sameach, for helping the yeshiva that has done so much over the past 40 years. You never know one kid, one person, okay, out of all these, all these guys, okay, you never know what could happen. So let me just tell you a story. I worked with, I worked one-on-one -on -one in these mentor missions, and one night there was a snowstorm a few years ago in New York City, and um, I get a call like three o'clock in the morning. Who is it, one of the kids that was on the mentor mission? I said, hi, what are you doing? Well, you know, <laughs> what's up, 3 a.m., you know? He says, listen, I've been stuck at the airport for 12 hours. I'm thinking, who's up at 3 a.m. in the morning in New York City? He says, David Martin, he's up. So I call him up. He calls me, we're talking back and forth. He says, listen, you're not gonna be happy with me, but I'm off on my way to Australia. The plane's been delayed because of the snowstorm. It's leaving on Saturday, okay? Can I stay in your house for a day or two? I said, stay in my house. You can't go on Saturday. You come into my house and you go on Monday. He stayed with us for four days, and today I'm happy to say he puts on the film every single day.